Hi everybody, it's me, Sharon. I know it's been a while. Oh, let me just adjust this for a sec. It's been a while since I've done any video taping or uh, cast off crew videos. Um, I just haven't been uh, well this year. Uh, the the beginning of the year started off um, with a an operation, and I just got tired from that. So anyway. First of all, I want to show you what I've been working on for the last two weeks. Uh, my sister, I made um, the five dolls of Frozen, or pattern that's similar to it, for her, uh, her uh, granddaughters for Christmas. And in the meantime, a friend of theirs in uh, Brandon uh, liked the thing so much that they decided to uh, uh, they wanted a set as well. So I've been making that set as well as making a set for one other little girl, but I'm not going to say who. Um, these are the dolls. First of all, there is, um, they're made by the pattern I got from a Betty, Becky Ann Smith. And uh, this was her Elsa doll. Um, I didn't have the silvery white for the hair, so I made her just blonde. Um, then there was Anna. Now, I haven't seen the movie, so I'm just going by these pictures that I have. And uh, this doll is probably about 10 inches. The other one's probably about 11 inches. And then there was Kristoff. Oops. Kristoff. I'm not very good at putting the mouth, you know, the embroidered mouth on uh, these things. Uh, then there's Olaf, and uh, he does come apart. See, you can take him apart. The other part comes apart as well. I just use some little uh, Velcro dots to uh, put him together, and he kind of floppy, but I guess that's the way he's supposed to be. So, anyway, I I did two sets, and then of course Sven. You know. And his legs are kind of floppy, uh, but I guess apparently that's the way he's supposed to be. He's quite the klutz. So, I made two complete sets of these. Now, at Christmas time, beside the set of dolls that I did for my sister, for uh, her granddaughters, I was, um, there was a little shop that opened up downtown on uh, Queen Street here. I mean, Queen Street used to be the, the place to be. And now it's kind of like a little ghost town down there. Stores open and they close and then they open and close. So what I did was um, I went into this shop called um, Christmas Wishes. And she's apparently going to be open all year round and she sells Christmas stuff. That's it. Strictly Christmas. So when I went in, she happened to notice that I was wearing um, um, fingerless gloves. And uh, when, yeah, I'm not going to go and get it right now. Anyways, uh, she uh, she liked them. She said, do you make those? And I said, yes, I make them. And uh, she asked me how much I wanted for them. And I, I had had a craft sale in uh, uh, November, I think it was. And I sold all my crisp, uh, the wristers. Uh, they were um, from um, Despicable Me, the Minion gloves. And I sold them really well, but I only charged like $3 a pair because did, they didn't cost me very much to make. Um, so she ordered 20 pairs of fingerless gloves um, with uh, Christmas themes. And I charged her $3 a pair because, you know, she's a shop and she's got to make some money on it. So I thought, I, you know, um, <clears throat> when I got that done... I was working on um, oh, a couple of purses, pop can tap purses. That pretty well. Oh, I made a blanket for my hubby on a loom. I bought um, one of those, uh, uh, it's like the Serenity loom, but it's DA Super Loom. You know, so I, I got that last year in around July. July yeah, July I got it. 
and I decided to try a blanket, which turned out really nice. It's on the back of my chair. It's the striped one that's there. So, um, I didn't make too, too much this year. I just, uh, I, I went in for, like I said, I went in for some surgery in February because I had uh, cancer of the uterus. So I had a hysterectomy and it went fine. Apparently they got all the cancer out. My landlady though, uh, she went into the hospital at the same time because she had gotten a cold and it wouldn't go away. And um, it turns out it was cancerous. She had cancer. And it, they thought it was in her chest and they did surgery on her and they couldn't find, they could find the uh, cancer, but they couldn't find the primary spot. So she's about four years younger than me. And uh, I went for chemo. Went through it fine. No, actually, I didn't go chemo. I went radiation, sorry. And it went fine. I had four sessions, and uh, I've had a couple of uh, appointments since then, and they checked up on me, and I, I'm doing well. Um, she went through chemo, didn't do well with the chemo. It made her very ill. Uh, she lost all her hair. Uh, she gained weight. Um, she ended up not being able to work, and they still could not find the primary. So she went for, I believe she went for some radiation, and then they turned around, they had to reduce the dose of chemo after, because it made her so violently sick, and she was so tired, and um, then they stopped the chemo, and I guess they still couldn't find it, so they put her back on chemo, and she went on it a couple times, and um, about early September, so she um, she had to go on oxygen, and um, then they took her off, and she seemed to be doing not too bad. In November, the end of November, they put her into a respite home, uh, and December 23rd, she died. So, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. You wonder sometimes a lot. Uh, I don't mean to be a downer, but it doesn't seem fair. I'm being such a baby, I'm sorry. <coughs> but you wonder why sometimes uh, this happens and it's not fair. She was a very nice woman. So, this is why I haven't been around. <sighs> very sorry about this. I don't mean to do this, I'm trying. <laughs> very hard to accept all of this. I'm grateful that I'm fine, but I question why I'm fine and some people don't get fine. Uh, and this is another reason <clears throat> I haven't been doing a lot. I just, I'm just not into it. And I wanted to come and explain to you that I haven't lost my desire to craft. I just haven't had the heart into it. And now that I've actually talked about this out loud, I'm hoping that this is going to help because I cry a lot. So, on that note, I must say thank you for your patience. And I will try much harder. 
I miss and love you all. And, uh, I don't do that very often. You can ask anybody who's related to me or knows me. They will tell you I am such a rock of Gibraltar that I don't usually cry. This was very hard to go through. So now, <clears throat> what I'm working on is my new loom. And I am uh, trying uh, to create a sweater for myself. Now, I wear this one a lot, this sweater. I have had this sweater for probably 35 years. And I have worn this thing forever. It's coming apart, as you can see right here. I sew it up and it falls apart, you know. And it's got stains in it that won't come out. And fuzz balls that are probably growing families, great-grandchildren or whatever in them. So I took the measurements of this sweater, and I know how many stitches to the inch I get because of the blanket I made. I know how many stitches to the inch I get and how many rows that I get for each two inches. And uh, so I'm trying to make a sweater that I will wear because I love that blanket. I would wear that <laughs> if it were a sweater. But uh, it's not. It's a blanket. But I, I love the feel of it. I like the color combination. So, um, I'm, it's, it's a slow process doing this sweater because I've never done this before. So, it's just going to be an ordinary square, you know, with the square sleeves sewn on. So, and hopefully it works out. So, on that note, I uh, miss you all. And I will try very hard to do some crocheting to show you each week. I can't promise, but I will try. So, anyways, I'm sorry to be such a downer today, but that's why I haven't been around. I wanted to explain that. And I will try much harder. So, everybody have a great day. I'm going to go sweep my brand off. We got a lot of snow in the last two days. So, have a great day. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Okay, bye for now.